All right, I'm joined right now by Yanni Caracas from our fellow Next Star Station, WPRI, up in Providence, Rhode Island, to talk about the NFL news that is capturing all the headlines. Cam Newton signing a one-year deal with the New England Patriots. Yanni, and my question for you first is, what has the reception been like up there with this signing? I think Patriot fans are excited because you lose Tom Brady after 20 years, greatest quarterback ever, and there wasn't a whole lot of buzz for the Patriots. Jarrett Stidham, you heard mixed messages on how into him the Patriots were and Brian Hoyer as a backup. So now that Cam Newton is a Patriot, you have that buzz again. And I think it's a great move because it's low risk, high reward. One year, not a lot of money for a former NFL MVP. So uh, Patriot fans are excited for him to reclaim his status as one of the game's best quarterbacks. And maybe, you know, they're a borderline playoff team before Cam. Maybe now they're ascending into that 3-4 range in the AFC uh, playoff race and can make another run in it. Now, we down here in the Carolinas have a perception of Cam Newton because we've seen him for the last nine seasons. But what is the perception of Cam up there in New England and outside of this market about the type of guy and player he is? That's a great question. Yeah, I think people anywhere in the country and here in New England included marvel at, at the athlete he is, his raw talent, throwing the ball and running the ball. Um, but I think there's some questions about, you know, there's the image of him not picking up that fumble in the Super Bowl against Denver and battling injuries and maybe sometimes having a little bit of an attitude with the media. So um, I think there's some question marks about that. But then you, the more you read and hear about his former teammates, uh, they all loved playing with him. He played hurt. So I think the more Patriot fans are educating themselves about Cam Newton, the more they're buying into him. But um, Completely different quarterback than Tom Brady, who is a traditional, you know, pocket passer. Cam uh, can become more dynamic. So um, I would say uh, marveled by his athletic talent, but maybe some question marks about, about the other things. We're all curious down here why it took so long, because it felt like New England was the logical landing spot. And then after a while, it just felt like it wasn't going to happen. So why does it take so long? Yeah. That's a great question, and when the news came out on a Sunday night, I was shocked, not because of the move, because it makes sense, as you mentioned, but the timing. Like, it's almost July. We're sort of in this break before players come back for training camp in July. Um, I think one of Bill Belichick's greatest assets is patience. So he sort of waited for Cam, Mar uh, Cam Newton's market to come down. If he ever had a mar market, you hear Adam Schefter say that not many teams, if any, were interested in him. But you're right. If they realized no one else wanted Cam Newton a month ago, why didn't they sign him now? And then you have conspiracy theorists who say the news came out the same night about the Patriots' latest video scandal that they were docked a third-round pick and fined $1.1 million. Um, I don't think the Patriots would wait for the Cam Newton news just to offset the news about the penalties, but that's a great question. Um, it's not like Jared Stidham had a bad Zoom call last week, and then they were like, we need to bring in Cam Newton. No one's been playing football together, so I don't think it's an indictment necessarily on Jared Stidham's play at quarterback. So you're right. I don't know about the timing. I think that's one of the biggest question marks behind all of this. And I'll wrap up with this one. We know what Tom Brady looked like in that New England Patriots offense. What can Cam Newton look like for that team? Yeah, that's an exciting proposition for Josh McDaniels, the offensive coordinator. And a lot of people go back to uh, 2016 when Brady was suspended the four games for Deflategate. Uh, and Jimmy Garoppolo had a couple starts. And then Jacoby Brissett, who's now with the Colts. And the Patriots really morphed into a different offense those weeks, specifically with Brissett, who's more of a mobile quarterback. So one thing the Patriots pride themselves on is game planning week to week and being multiple and being different. So I think... There's going to be a lot, whole lot more of run options, uh, read options, and, and using Cam Newton's ability. But I also think they're not going to have him run the ball 20 games and risk injury. So uh, if there's anyone that likes to get creative, it's Bill Belichick and Josh McDaniel. So with the, with the caveat, of course, being he's not going to join the team until July, abbreviated offseason. We'll see how many preseason games. So I think it's really going to be a process of getting him up to speed. But when you have a guy as talented as Cam Newton, maybe you keep things simple from a game plan perspective, let him work his magic athletically, and then develop him as he goes along. So a uh, lot of excitement about Cam Newton here in New England for sure. All right, well, appreciate the time. We're looking forward to seeing how Cam does up there in New England. Take care, Yanni. Thank you.